wow, look who it is and where. It feels so strange to be back, but good at the same time. Because this is like my setup. This is set up for me to film. I just turn my mic on. I put my camera up on top of my bed. So much better than what I've been trying to do for like the past two months, which is just film wherever I can. So happy to be back in my spot. And now that I'm back in my spot, let's listen to an album. I haven't listened to a full album in a second, but it feels good to be back in the chair. It's an album request through Reactor. It was Opeth's Damnation. I think that's the name of it. Opeth, I've heard of this band before. I think they're quite popular. I read that they were heavy metal, but I also read that they're progressive metal and they also have like death metal elements or something, especially in their earlier works. Maybe it's early. I can't tell what's what with Opeth yet, but this is 2003. The person that requested this, let me, I don't have that up. Hi Kira, here's Forgotten Spirit from Germany. Hi Forgotten Spirit. I would like you to react to the album Damnation by Swedish, oh yeah they're Swedish, that is the other thing. Progressive death metal band Opeth. This album was a radical change from their death metal sound and the first Opeth album that used all clean vocals, yay, good. <laughs> clean guitars and Mellotron. Oh, a Mellotron, okay. It is, oh. Oh. It is heavily inspired by progressive rock. Great. My dad loves progressive rock. Yes and Rush, I think. Are they both prog rock? And shows every band member's technical abilities. I love the melancholic and dark atmosphere of this album. I love melancholic and dark things too. I like the album cover. Very creepy. But sort of cool. I'm going to listen to the first track and just get a feel. I really have no idea at all what to expect, except for what I just read then, which was that this is a death metal band apparently going into more of a progressive sound. Let's find out, I'm not sure. Completely blind reaction nearly. Ew, so sad. Mm. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. no metal in this yet. Maybe I sort of expected to explode a little bit like Tool does. Yeah, definitely is It's nice, it's nice, okay.
Mama. I've been loving drums lately, every time. I know what you, I know what you mean by like a feeling, it, I mean, it sounds really clear. I feel like I can listen in and think about every little instrument that's being played right now. but the instrumental breaks on this song. I love how much variety is shown in them. song. This isn't even metal. Maybe the rest of the album is. But this first song isn't. This is this is the fun of it all. Like I really don't know <laughs> anything about this album really, except it's meant to be progressive metal with el with death influence. Uh, I mean, where's the death metal? I'm not sure. I can see progressive elements, of course. The lighter side of progressive. Yeah, I guess the excitement in all of this is that I really don't know where this album is going to go. Is the whole album sort of like this? Because then I I wouldn't even consider it metal at all, obviously. So I'd imagine that there are more heavier songs coming up. Very close to what my taste is in general. Love sad, love the melancholic feel of it. The lyrics themselves, I don't totally understand. It feels like I'm reading, you know when you like read poetry? I'm a reader, so I try and read poetry sometimes and a lot of it goes over my head. That's sort of how the lyrics felt a little bit to me. Like maybe not as clear as I would have liked them to be, um, but maybe with time I'll find my own meaning in the lyrics. That's what I do a lot of the time with lyrics in general. Love the melancholic tone of the song though. That is the main thing, the acoustic guitar, the arpeggio. It's all so beautiful, it's all so pretty for whatever this album cover is trying to 
Ring Across, I feel like the first song would definitely surprise a few people. We got a couple of guitar solos, we had key changes, it was all quite lovely. Next we have In My Time of Need. Once again, some pretty sad guitar, very chill. This is like tall but sad. Like the chiller part of tool. Like the first line. <laughs> Ooh, like the second line. Okay, these lyrics are making more sense to me. This is really nice on this one. And more acoustic guitar? Okay, but it's still the same thing. I'm sort of going to go lucky again, like the first track. Geez, that for a moment made me realize how much I was just focusing on the drums for the first seven minutes of this album. <laughs> that first track was so all about the drums for me. Of rock elements. A lot of the time, the guitar is reminding me of my father, who is a guitarist himself and is very into progressive rock. And it reminds me of his own guitar playing. He's probably very influenced by progressive rock. Oh my god, I need to send this to him. Ah, 
I like this one even more. I'm so excited for this album right now. Based on that one really sets just this beautiful warm foundation for the track to sit on top of. I really liked the bass on that one. I love the lyrics. I should contemplate this change. Favorite line so far to ease the pain. Ugh. 100%. Again? When's the acoustic guitar gonna stop surprising me? Death Whisper the Lullaby. I feel like this one might actually go metal on me. Deep in the I'm terrified. Where the lost souls hide. Over the hill, there are men returning. Trying to find some peace of mind. Oh my god, I'm scared. <laughs> okay, it's got lullaby in the name. It's a chill one. Me a lot. Damn. Under the fog, there are shadows moving. Don't, Don't be afraid. afraid. Hold my hand. Into the dark, there are eyelids closing. Buried alive in the shifting sand. Too, but I still love it. <laughs> Is this album just really good? I assume so. Influence before this? Sleep, my child. Oh. 
What a change. This album has been so solid. Okay, at this point, it's about the drums and it's about the bass. Lyrics worked well in the second track. The third track, the same thing sort of happened with the lyrics where it got a bit poetry on me and I was like, I don't really know what they're talking about again. Maybe I'm just a little stupid. I think when it comes to the bass, there's this warmness to it. It's so comforting to listen to. No matter what's happening on top, even if it sounds quite sad, the bass feels quite happy to me. I love bass, so that might be why it's making me so happy. And then this drummer, I feel as though he was on show a little bit more in the first track than the second and third, but he still had moments, especially at the end of that third track. He popped off for a little bit, and it was super fun. And it got a little loud, slightly. I mean, for what these three tracks have been, it was quite loud towards into that third, but still nowhere near what I would expect metal to be. Uh, maybe this album is not metal at all. It's been three songs now, there's been no metal... Really, I don't get it. Aren't they meant to be a metal band? I swear Google said heavy metal. But when am I not confused, really? That's what I do. I just sit here being confused while I listen to music and then going like, whoa, that sounded really good. But I've given one out of one to each of these first three songs because I rate every song out of one. Eight songs. Oh, okay. I thought there were seven songs, but it's eight. All right, let's keep going then. There could definitely be one that pops up, brings down the rating, but so far we're 100%. Heal myself. What is this acoustic guitar? A feather on my heart. Look inside. There never was a lot of the time, the notes that the guitar goes to, the chords, I don't expect it to really go there. Because the actual music's quite low key. But you know, oh, I could get a bit boring, but I feel like the tone shifts so much, so slightly. A lot in these songs, and it keeps me really roped in. Because I'm like, where's it gonna go next? instrumental section. This haunting string on top. I 
That was so fun! God, I love that music. In the rays of the sun, I am longing for darkness. In the rays of the sun, I am longing I mean, I've listened to like two progressive bands ever, but every time I'm like, wow, this drummer in this progressive band, this progressive rock or progressive metal band, they're so good! You've got to be really good at drums to be a drummer in one of these bands, I reckon. You gotta wanna be someone that likes to challenge themselves. Oh my god! Because she's a tool fan. I feel like she'd like this one. Send this one to my father. This one to my sister. Oh! <laughs> I thought it was going to, like, transition or something. Oh. It's a little funny. Hope leaves. Okay. That song, a nice upbeat moment. Oh my gosh, I'm loving these lyrics. It's flat. Hello, bass. Please join. Yes. Oh my gosh, this whole album is so good. Wait, where is the point five star song? Whoa. 
What is going on? Someone explain. This makes so much sense. Like, all my favorite songs. Oh, all my favorite songs. All my favorite albums of all time are from like 2000 to 2007. It's like the golden era of music for me. I think Lateral is by Tools and Nightmare as well, maybe. Sad face next to that song. In the sense of I may miss sound. <laughs> Hope leaves make okay. Got it. <laughs> Got it. A fade as well for my favorite song on the album. Okay, it's getting a little scary. I'm getting a little nervous because now we're five songs in and it's been five ones. And there's only three songs left. I think the highest of a rated an album is like 90, 92 ish, maybe very low 90s. I think even one song letting us down now from here on out will make this album drop to below that. Because I think Lighter Alice was a 90. Wait, was it Lighter Alice? I can't remember. Crowbar was a 90. But we're so close. We have three more songs. Even from here on out, if I like one more, this is quite a highly rated album. Let's not even think about the next three songs. Wow, what a solid first five songs for me. It's only gotten more and more dynamic as the songs have gone on. That fourth track, what's this fourth track's name? Closure, the banger of the album. It's like the equivalent of Body Snatchers on In Rainbows. It's like that song that hypes me up and gets me excited. So fun, I love how loud it gets. I love the dynamics that it plays around with, especially because it's in the middle of this record. Because I do feel like coming off the third track, the album is a bit of a lull. And I mean, it, the third track is called Death Whispered by Lullaby. It's meant to be more of a lull, I would imagine, in energy there. Um, but Closure coming in after that and just bringing up the energy. I think this these songs have been really well placed, one after the other. And then Hope Leaves is my favorite favorite track on the record. Hope Leaves is like the perfect hero track. Like, it's so sad. <laughs> it's so beautiful. I love tracks like that. My favorite type of music. The requester who sent this. You know my taste so, 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 so well. I don't even feel like people have been screaming at me to listen to this album much. There probably are some people that are like, you'll like Opeth Damnation. I'm sure. I'm just saying, I just don't feel like this was on my radar, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And it should have been, because this is perfect Kira music. This is driving me insane. I am actually going bongers right now. As each song goes on and I love it and I love it and I love it, I'm just like, where has this album been my whole entire life? To rid the disease. I just hit my knee. I already have so many bruises because I went paintballing. Ow. This one reminds me of Closure a little bit, like the beginning Nobody of it. Just a bit more, um, menacing, yeah. Nobody near. Okay, sure. I try not to care. Dead eyes always stare. Dead eyes always stare. I love this drummer, how he's not always drumming. <laughs> and he jumps in, and I'm like, oh yeah, you weren't, you weren't playing anything yet. I love it. <laughs> Bass two. These matters be this bass and drum combo is so good. Take hold of 
of your time Step into the light The oh. from its maker Still on the trust in you This failure has made the creator This one's really scary. Not really scary. A little frightening. <laughs> so nice. You know, I could see maybe the only criticism of this album is that it can be a little repetitive. But if you love what they're doing, then that's not a criticism, you know? It's like perfect. It's like, yeah, this. No, it's too late. If it works, just keep doing it. I turn around to see. And I think if you really listen in to the intricacies of it, there are very different no sounds in each of the tracks. Like, I love the piano there, that's cool. From this Trust in you. This failure has made the creator. So would you tell him what to do? The strings have popped in um, a couple of times. I mean, another one. Oh wait, no, we're only halfway through the track. I take that back. We'll see the rest of the cards. Piano drum bass combo. <laughs> what? This album has been such high, high standard the entire time. I mean, the piano itself is going to give it a one. Though. There's nothing to do about it. Yeah, it's a one. This is insane! I only have two more songs to go. Everything's been a one so far. This is eerie. This 
This album is starting to scare me. If I give this next track a one, I'm gonna lose my mind. I don't even know if I'll be able to listen to the last track. Ending credits? Wait, what? I thought there was... Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, there's two more tracks. What are these lyrics? What the... Thank you very much, Bonnesley. Did you like that last? I'm really enjoying. This whole album, the guitar's been so stellar, but bass, 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 bass. Okay, that's okay. It's. Can I show you? Can I show you this? Did we get an update? I've never given an album a hundred before. Is it about to happen? Weakness. Weakness, don't let us down. It's gonna be so awkward. I'm so nervous. God, please like it, please like it. Pray, please like this song. God, it's a little bit different, isn't it? Oh. The acoustic guitar is gone. Sleeping, that's popped up a bit as well.
hypnotizing. It's good. <laughs> it reminds me a little bit of I'm like mezzanine. Massive attack. you there in the blink of an eye i miss you turned away into a thousand dreams found out what they mean lost you there in a moment of truth i trust you gave away the one and only heart a gift to tear apart stain me save me take me to my home hold me show me take me to my home we can now drain fluid from me you kill me i'm afraid of what you've just done but of what you just become place I always jump jump to is like a relationship with lyrics like this but it, I mean it could be something else it could be I mean well, I don't know what his weakness is gave away the one and only heart makes me think it's a relationship though that it's and he says I trust you I miss you it has to be a romantic relationship if so I love these lyrics <laughs> I love romance like sad romance lyrics um that's always like my favorite thing one did I probably th these lyrics are probably one of my favorite sets of lyrics from the whole album instrumentally this track is a little underwhelming but I still do love the more it's so much more subtle than the rest of the album and the, the album already is quite low in energy not in a bad way I love low energy that I'm sad a lot so we need the low energy music but this last track for such a low key album is extremely low key and it's more electronic then acoustic guitar there's like that tiny little bit of electric guitar that I was loving in it um which I wish there was more in there I'm just trying to we all know what I'm trying to do I'm trying to figure out if this is a one or not I feel like there's so much pressure on me right now to give this a one you know because then the album is a 100 and like ah that's crazy I'm trying to take away the context and think about if the song was in like another album that I wasn't overthinking so much would I give it a one <laughs> I can't tell I feel like it's a 0.75 <laughs> Why am I doing this to myself? Ah, uh, I gotta listen to it again. I can't tell. I think it's a one. I think it's a, this is crazy. I didn't expect to listen to a 10 out of 10 album today. I don't listen to 10 out of 10 albums, if, if you didn't know. I once said it in one of my YouTube videos. I was like, oh yeah, there's no album that's like perfect to me. Uh, even my favorite album of all time, which is In Rainbows by Radiohead, I don't really like the song House of Cards on it. A lot of people like the song House of Cards, and I don't want to argue about it. I, House, House of Cards is just too happy for me. The tone of it's just a little too happy, a little too boring. But In Rainbows is still my favorite album of all time. That's not going to change ever. Like, it, that album has shaped literally who I am today. But this album, I've never listened to an album where I like every single song on it. Maybe Discovery by Daft Punk? Yeah, because A Rush of Blood to the Head, that's another one of my favorite albums. I don't like a song on it. And then... 
turn the bright light. Yeah, it might just be Discovery in this album. What? This this random 2003 Opeth album just became one of my favorite albums of all time. Is that not strange to anybody else? There's no way I can comprehend what's happening right now in this video. I'm gonna have to have a few months just to like sit with this. Some of my favorite albums that I've found through my videos, it's taken me a long time to adjust to it, I'll listen to a song here or there before I listen to the album. Like, I already know that there's something good's coming up, but it makes sense because I loved the songs I heard before I listened to the album. This album, my point is, is that this Opef album, I had no idea anything about this going into it. I never knew that I would love it so much. I went into it completely blind, and I don't think I've ever really gone into an album completely blind and come out the other side just not really having any complaints and just being like, this is a perfect album. I might try and put the full cup up on YouTube because this is just so special to me. This is so nice. I'm so happy right now. I have a new favorite set of eight songs to listen to. I'm just so beyond, I'm so happy. Very emotional experience as well listening to this album. I, I felt myself having emotional reactions to this album. Like, I'm not gonna cry here just to get the point across, um, but I was sort of on the verge of tearing up a little at points. Um, and I think that's, apart from maybe Discovery by Daft Punk, most of my favorite albums of all time, they are quite emotional experiences for me. So it makes sense, like, I feel like it ticks that box. It's sad, it makes me wanna cry. Amazing bass, amazing drums. Arpeggio guitar all over the place, acoustic guitar all over the place. He never screams, never growls. <laughs> It's, that's it, that's what I thought of this album. I loved it. Maybe the last track was a little strange, but I still loved it. I think enough for me to give this a 100. Who would have thought? Okay, here it is, 100 out of 100. I love this record. It's made for me, like it's my taste in an album. Um, If you can deliver it, I will give you a 100. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed listening to this album with me today. I definitely enjoyed listening to this album. First 2024, album listen for Kira was a reactor that's a 100 this is gonna be such a good year i'm feeling so great i'm gonna listen to dope phone next by electric wizard i think it's starting to hit me a little bit i can't stop smiling now but oh my gosh all right i'll see you guys all soon i can't believe that just happened bye <laughs>